You ready? Yes, sir. Ready. Welcome to our video where I'll tell you about the five best methods to play Ready or Not on your Mac. If at any point you find yourself overwhelmed with all the information, there is a link to our site in the description where you will find a very structured article on how to play the game. Three of the ways to play it are cloud gaming services, and the other two let you download it and run it locally so there's something for everyone. But before you choose which one you want, you'll have to buy the game. To help you, we'll leave links in the description to a few reputable shops where the game's Steam version has a reduced price at the time of making this video. Just note that if you want to play the game through xCloud, which is one of the three cloud options, you shouldn't get the Steam version since the game is included in the Game Pass subscription, which you need for this method. The first method you can use is Boosteroid, the cheapest cloud gaming service that's actually any good. The main draw of cloud gaming is that your machine doesn't matter, so long as you can supply it with around 40 megabits of stable internet. You can crank up everything to max even in 4K and you should be more than fine. Ready or Not isn't the most demanding title, but it still requires a mid or high-end Apple machine to run with medium graphics and still get playable performance. On the other hand, to play it with Boosteroid, you just need an okay internet and you can play this game with maxed out graphics even on a base M1 MacBook Air. All you have to do to start gaming is follow the link in the description, register for the service and buy a subscription. Then just search for the game and click play. You'll be asked to log into your Steam account and the game will start after that. It's all pretty easy but we have a how-to tutorial if you need it and an overview of the service if you want something more in-depth to make up your mind. The next solution is GeForce Now and it is the largest and most popular cloud gaming service out there. Its pricing is steeper than Boostroid but this is somewhat offset by its larger gaming library. Ultimately, the choice between the two depends on personal preference, but I still prefer Boosteroid simply because it gives pretty much the same performance, but at a considerably better price. But if you want the best of the best with all the bells and whistles, go with GeForce Now. Like with Boosteroid, all you need is stable internet with around 40 megabits per second, and you can play games with 1080p and 60 frames per second without any noteworthy lag. And if you've got a faster internet, say around 50 megabits per second, you can stream with 4K and 120 FPS. Using GFN is similarly simple. Just go to the respective link below, click join now, pick a preferred plan and register. Then download the services macOS app, launch it and look for ready or not. Then click play and after logging into Steam, you can start playing. The next solution we wanna give you is xCloud, Microsoft's proprietary cloud gaming service. To play ready or not with it, you'll need a game controller connected to your Mac. No keyboard and mouse support here. To use xCloud, go to the link in the description, choose the ultimate plan on the page that opens and register. After picking a payment method and starting your subscription, make sure you've got a controller connected to your Mac and then just find the game in the xCloud library and click play. Crossover is the go-to method in 2025 if you want to use your Mac's hardware. It will give you the ability to play anywhere you want without internet limitations and scales better with newer Macs. But you're not going to get anywhere near the graphical fidelity or performance you'll have with cloud solutions. I mean, if you have something like an M3 or M4 Pro or Macs with 24 gigs or more, you can play decently well with medium or even high graphics, but for less powerful Mac models, local play might not be optimal. The good news is that the game is actually quite stable and you don't lose too much performance performance when running it in this way. Just remember that your hardware is always going to be a limiting factor here. Otherwise, this solution is solid. Also, with this method, you can use mods for single player games and there's a 14 day free trial. To use Crossover, click the link in the description, enter your email and download the app. Then, after you install Crossover, you must click the Try Now option for the 14 day trial. If you need a longer tutorial, visit our video on that. Just note that the experience with Crossover can sometimes vary between updates, so don't be surprised if it suddenly starts to break the game. If this happens, check our site for the detailed instructions or you'll have to research this on your own. Kegworks is currently the most popular replacement for Whiskey since the latter got discontinued by its developer. Think of it as a DIY version of Crossover. It's free, but it's not as reliable or user-friendly. I personally prefer Crossover, but if you are on a tight budget, you can give Kegworks a go. Just remember that the possibility of this not working for you for whatever reason is always there, in which case you'll need to go through troubleshooting and debugging to get the game to run properly. Performance-wise, it's also similar to Crossover, but with more jank and potential for things breaking down. As for the setup, you first need to install Homebrew, then Kegworks itself, then Steam, and then the actual game. The process takes a bit more time compared to the other methods here and so is beyond the scope of this video. For detailed guidance on how to set up Kegworks, just click the respective video in the description and it will show you exactly what to do. So these were the best methods for playing this game. If you want to explore more popular gaming titles that you can play on your Mac, 
check the videos that should now appear on your screen or simply browse through our channel. Also, if you found this content helpful, we'd greatly appreciate it if you like the video and subscribe to our channel. Take care and see you in the next one.